So good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to more girls volleyball from Miami Trace on the campus of Miami Trace High School. This is Rick Phillips for Campus Nation, the Internet Sports Authority. We are about 11 and a half minutes from getting underway here in this uh, varsity match, in the junior varsity match. Uh, and by the way, they are playing the Westfall Mustangs, Lady Mustangs, uh, the junior varsity Lady Mustangs they swept the uh, Lady Panthers in the Junior Varsity event two straight sets to nothing. But anyway, uh, let's go over their records so that you have more of an idea of uh, where everybody stands. The uh, Miami Trace Girls Volleyball Varsity Club is 16-3 and overall. They're 10-0 and in the Frontier Athletic Conference. Obviously, that's, that's first. That's number one. And then the Westfall Volleyball uh, Lady uh, Mustangs, they're 11 and 7 overall, and they're 8 and 4 in their conference. That's the Scioto Valley Conference. Uh, some other information that uh, you may not be aware of, at least at this point, is that uh, they have drawn for the tournament uh, the opponents in uh, set up the brackets, and uh, you will find that uh, the Lady Panthers are, uh, they're seated ninth uh, in the tournament and uh, they will, uh, they will play the, uh, the number eight Logan Elm team, which beat them earlier in the year three to two. So uh, Logan Elm was uh, seated eighth and Miami Trace is seated ninth. Logan Elm uh, doesn't have quite the, the record. They're 13 and six, Miami Trace. Obviously, it was 15 and three when they made the drawing. Uh, this is the 2023 Southeast District Division II volleyball brackets that we're talking about. But uh, so the the tournaments and and uh, a little bit of information. We that means that uh, Miami Trace will not have a home. Uh, they won't start at home. They will they will be away. So. Uh, the higher seed usually hosts that first opening uh, uh, volleyball event, and so it would be Logan Elm that would uh, that would host that as well. A little other information as far as what's happening uh, later in the week. We've got more girls volleyball. We will be at at Greenview. The Rams will take on the Green and Knights. That is Thursday, October the 12th, and it will get underway at 6.30 from uh, Greenview High School. Uh, Rams have been on a good run lately as far as the varsity team, and uh, we look forward to finishing our season on Campus Nation as far as girls volleyball there at uh, Greenview. Uh, and I think we've got uh, Maddie gonna be back in to, to help me with the, uh, with the calling of the, uh, the match. So uh, tune in on Thursday, October the 12th at 6.30 for Greenview Girls Volleyball. Then following that on Friday, this is sort of unusual, we're traveling to Hillsboro uh, for a Miami Trace game, uh, but we will be at Hillsboro High School Stadium Friday, October the 13th, and that will also get underway at 6.30, but that will be from Hillsboro rather than uh, here at Miami Trace where we usually do the home games. This will be an away game, and we will have it covered right here on Campus Nation. And then finishing out the week, for those of you that uh, know that we also do college football, we will be at McPherson Stadium for our college game of the week, and we will be featuring Savannah State against Central State, the Marauders of Central State. And uh, so that game's going to get underway at... Uh, I have it at 6.30, but it's not really 6.30. The game will get underway at 12.30. Uh, we'll have to change our static on that so that people uh, know that. But uh, I think on the website it has the correct uh, correct time. That will also be homecoming for the Marauders. And we've done a couple of homecomings for Central State, and they've been a lot of fun. Uh, we enjoy doing uh, the Central State games. And uh, at that game, we will feature uh, the... Uh, 
quarterback that take, took them to the Division II uh, college title uh, back in the day. And Antonio Davis, A.D. Davis, he will be in, uh, he will be in to, to help us with our broadcast. And I'm sure he'll have some interesting things to pass on to us as far as uh, uh, some uh, tidbits of information. But anyway, tonight, let's go over the camera positions. Right now you're seeing the net camera. This is the camera that shoots down the net. And then our other camera is at the end of the court, and that will give you that end of the court shot there. And then finally, the camera that we can move, uh, that is our uh, camera that we have next to the uh, our table here. And we can move that, but that is pointed at the net, and that's where most of the action is. So we tend to... Uh, we tend to show that the most, but uh, we've got about six minutes. The ladies on both sides have been warming up, and uh, we will get underway shortly. Just to go over the uh, the uh, roster uh, for the Lady Westfall Mustangs. Um, these are the, uh, uh, the young ladies that play for the Mustangs. Morgan Riddick, Delana Lonenfield, Jalen Whipple, Emma Henry, Gabby Henry, Tara Wolf, Ava Hurt, or Hart, Reese Mayo, Lauren Blackburn, Carrie Thornton, Adrian Mayo, Aubrey Clark, and Leah Johnson. And they're all led by their head coach Stacy Caldwell or Caldwell and of course for your Miami Trace Panthers we have Hannah Vinegar, Addison Butts, Allison Carter, Sydney Carter, Lauren Ferens, Caitlin Gardner, Lauren Guess, Mallory Johnson, Carly Payton, Ellie Robinette, Cecilia Robinson, Gracie Scholl, Kylie Yazel, Ava Scholl, and Riley Vincent and once again they're led by their head coach Doug Mace. And we'll be getting underway here in about four to four and a half minutes here on Campus Nation, the Internet Sports Authority, with yours truly, Rick Phillips. Uh, I'm not really going to be calling the action, but I'll uh, I'll do my best at uh, letting you know of all the notable things that are happening during the event tonight. This is uh, actually not the first time that we have done uh, girls volleyball. Uh, we did uh, Wilmington for a few years. Uh, and that was once again a few years back. But uh, uh, we've not since done volleyball. And when we did volleyball at Wilmington, fortunately, we had some other people that helped to call those uh, games. Uh, I'm sort of carrying the flag for Campus Nation doing these games tonight. Normally, we'd have someone like Joe Davis in, but Joe Davis is a volleyball referee. And he is at Princeton tonight, I think. Uh, or he's one of the teams is Princeton. Uh, but he, he is doing volleyball refereeing tonight. In fact, he actually trains volleyball refs for the Ohio High School Athletic Association. So Joe knows his volleyball, and there's a few other sports that Joe knows. He'll be with us Friday night for our high school football from uh, Hillsborough, Ohio. Okay, once again, Lady Panthers out, and they'll finish their warm-ups, and then we will get underway as far as uh, as far as the uh, the event tonight.
Okay, just under two minutes to go with uh, Trace's final warm-up. Nothing to know, we'll pass along. I was talking with Aaron Hammond just before the, uh, the event tonight. Uh, we let him know that uh, Campus Nation is going to be happy to uh, bring you all of the home boys and girls basketball contests for the, uh, the winter season. So uh, Campus Nation will be doing all girls basketball games that are home. And that's every day of the week, whether it falls on a Saturday or a Tuesday or whatever. Same thing with the boys' basketball. We'll do all the home boys' basketball games. Uh, and, of course, that would be barring any terrible weather situation where uh, we might not be able to, to, to get people to the game. But uh, other than that, uh, the full schedule, I think there's going to be some, oh, maybe 21 games between the, the, the boys and the girls that we will be doing as far as home games. We're getting ready for the national anthem here. All right, we're, we're just minutes before we start. Now we're going to get the starting lineups.
All right. We're just about ready to get underway. All right, it looks like uh, Lady Mustangs will be serving first. And number two, Delena Lanafield. Lanafield will uh, serve. There's a serve. And first point goes to Miami Trace. Good start. Going back for Trace, number 11. Cecilia Robinson will be serving. Two to nothing, Trace. Nice one. Three to nothing, Miami Trace. Good start for the Lady Panthers. Robinson back to serve again. There's a good one for the uh, Lady Mustangs. Three to one. Back to serve for the Lady Mustangs. Number 14, Laura Blackburn. It's out. Point Miami Trace. It's four to one. And we want to welcome all of our new watchers from uh, the Westfall Lady Panthers uh, fan base there. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can catch all our action. It'll let you know. Five to one. Six to one. That's good for Westfall. Six to two. Back to serve number four, Jalen Whipple. Nice one, that one put away by number 14, Ava Scholl. Got that spin over the net. Seven to two, Lady Panthers. Butts back to uh, serve. Nice serve, it was an ace there. Eight to two.
So Addison Butts with that, uh, that ace. She's back to serve again. Point Westfall, eight to three. Tara Wolf in for the uh, Lady Mustangs and back to serve number 22, Avery Clark, Aubrey Clark. Nice little tip over by number three, Addison Carter. Good job, Addison. Nine to three. Lady Panthers in the lead in the first set of at least three. Point, Lady Panthers, 10 to three. Carter serving again for the Lady Panthers. White Panthers. Gonna be a timeout, Westfall. They're gonna talk this over. Lady Panthers with a eight point lead right now here in this first set. You're listening to CampusNation.com, the Internet Sports Authority. I'm Rick Phillips, bringing you the action from Miami Trace High School. Allison Carter will be serving again for the Lady uh, Panthers. But she likes to serve from that corner position, so it's very difficult for us sometimes to pick her up on camera other than that long shot there. <laughs> she serves. <laughs> so it's 12 to 13, Lady Panthers. Carter with a nice little serving run here. Long. 13 to 3. Trace up by 10 in this first set. Pretty commanding lead. Carter serving again. There's a dink. Four points now for Westfall. Lady Mustangs will be serving, and it'll be number 19, and that is Carrie Thornton serving for the Lady Mustangs. Away by the Panthers, 14 to four. Save a shoal serving for the Panthers. Another point, 15 to four. Westfall has not figured out the Panthers yet. That's out as well. 16 to four.
Mitchell serving again. Nice low serve. That looks like it hit the line, so that's going to be a point for Westfall. 16 to 5. If the ball hits any part of the line, it is in. If it hits an antenna on either side, it is out. Nice serve. That's number 28, Leah Johnson. And that was a great serve. Serving again. Low to the net. I love those low to the net serves. Another point. So Leah Johnson. That one is into the net. Point will be for the Panthers, 17 to seven. Let me get the score correct here. 17 to seven, Lady Panthers over the Lady Mustangs. And serving for Miami Trace will be number 23. Must have been a number change because I don't have the new numbers. Number two, that's Delana Lana Blomfeld. She'll be serving, and that's an ace. So it's 17 to 9. And that's put away by Butts. Yeah. 17 to 10, looks like a... Oh, nice one, right on the line there. Best fall with the point. It is now 18 to, I think it's 11. Wait to see if the scoreboard catches it up. That must be 18 to 10. Got ahead of ourselves there. Number 14, that's Lauren Blackburn serving. Butts with another incredible return. That ball drops and it is now 18 to 11. Westfall trailing by seven. Miami Trace with that point, 19 to 11. Back serving, number 12, Kylie Yazel. Oh, wow. There's some action. Kept alive. And <laughs> Addison Butts does what she does best. She puts it away. 20 to 11. <laughs> Off the hands, so that's good for uh, Westfall. 20 to 12. For Westfall, number four, Jalen Whipple. She will be serving. Jalen Whipple. Nice one. Butts just tips it right over. 21 to 12. She makes it look so easy. <laughs> of course, it helps. She's also a very tall young lady. And she's back to serve. Just over the net. That's an ace. 
22 to 12. Trace with a 10 point lead. But still serving. That's a point for Miami Trace, 23 to 12. Addison still back to serve. Addison butts number 20 with the Miami Trace serve. And there it is in the net. Oh. Point for Westfall, it's 23 to 13. Westfall bringing in some substitute, number seven. Kara Wolf back to serve, number 22, Aubrey Clark. Oh, nice one. 23 to 14. Clark back to serve again. Allison Carter. Or no, that was uh, Cecilia Robinson getting that uh, point, thinking it over. And as it always happens, Robinson will be back to serve. away by number 17 Lauren Guess and the Lady Mustangs decide it's time to take a timeout timeout in fact that's the end of that set it's 25 14 was the score should have put the 25 on there so that was the final 25 14 in this first set so traces up one set to nil reset the score Race one, Westfall nothing. When it comes to sets, let me change the set. Once again, when it comes to scoring, uh, the first team to 25 by two wins the set. Uh, and that is through till the fifth set, if necessary. Uh, it's the best of five. But if you go to the fifth set, you go to 15. So uh, sometimes you can get some pretty tight events there where they we had one at Greenview just this uh, this past uh, week where Greenview, they defeated uh, Southeastern uh, in the fifth set by a score of 25, 20, or uh, 15 to 13. So um, Southeastern at the time was number one, uh, but Greenview's been on a run. They've beaten the number one Cedarville Indians, and then they turned around and they beat the number one Southeastern uh, team from, uh, and I think they're now in second place. And we will be there, of course, this Thursday to finish out our volleyball, girls volleyball season here on Campus Nation. So make sure you tune in. I think Maddie will be back in with me and it uh, should be a lot of fun. All right. Getting ready for set number two. 
Refs are checking the numbers, making sure everybody that's on the books are on the floor. Trace with the win in the first set. We're going into the second set. And serving for Miami Trace, number 23, Sydney Carter. There's the serve. Kept alive. Oh, first point's going to go to Westfall. So one to nothing, Lady Mustangs here in the second set. We're coming to you live from Miami Trace High School, Miami Trace Gym. That was a hard hit. Out. One all. Lauren Ferns is going to go back to serve. I think they're checking about maybe some substitutions that the Lady Mustangs were going to make or have to make or... Night. So something's still being discussed. I don't know whether they're trying to figure points. They're trying to figure substitutions. People on the floor. Don't know. Lauren Ferrens, who had the ball ready to serve, returned the ball to the uh, line judge. And uh, so... Doug Mace is calling his girls over for a little huddle since all this is being discussed by the Westfall coach, Stacy Caldell. Don't know what they're talking about, but she's talking about uh, something she has a uh, problem with, I guess. And once again, I, it has something to do with the substitutions of the girls that are on the floor. Lauren gets the ball back, so maybe we're going to get underway here. Maybe not. She gives the ball back to the line judge. <laughs> Lauren Ferentz doesn't want the ball. Does she want the ball? We don't know yet. <laughs> Go get the ball, Lauren. <laughs> okay, ref's up on his pedestal there. Lauren's got the ball, so she will be serving now. It's official. Uh, tied up one all in the second set. Trace took the first set. There's a serve. Put away. Addison Butts. Point Miami Trace. So Miss Ferens will get another serve. And you're watching CampusNation.com, the Internet Sports Authority, with yours truly, Rick Phillips here, trying to bring you all the action. Oh, nice one, Westfall. Two to two. Back to serve number 14, Lauren Blackburn. Good block. And a dink over number three for the uh, point. That's Cecilia Robinson. 
And back to serve will be number 12, Kylie Yazel. Kylie gets it over, low again to the net, that's great. Oh, good return by number 22. Aubrey Clark just hauled off and clocked it. We're three all here in this second set and back to serve will be number four, Jalen Whipple. Okay, Addison Butts touched the net, so the score is 4-3 Westfall. Here's a serve. And uh, Addison Butts, instead of her usual uh, clocking the ball into the floor. She just did a little touch and threw him off. So Addison Butts will be back serving as well. It is four all. Good block. Number 17. Lauren Guess with that great block. And she blocked it back. Westfall hit it out. Butts back to serve again. 5-4, Miami Trace. Oh, miss hit. That'll be 5-5. Five, five. Serving for the Lady Mustangs, number 22, Aubrey Clark. Nice low serve, but still picked up. It's out, good call. Six to five, Lady Mustangs in the lead. Serving number 22 again, Aubrey Clark. At the net, I think uh, Lauren Guess had something to do with that uh, that uh, point there. Six to six. Oh, good return. Point Westfall. Seven to six. The Lady Mustangs. Number 19 will be serving. That's Carrie Thornton. Oh. It's eight to six. Harry Thornton again. <laughs> Lauren Ferens with that point for Miami Trace, bringing them within one. And back to serve, number 14. That's Allison Carter. Into the net. Nine to seven, Westfall. Coming in and serving. Number 28, Leia Johnson.
Panthers get it over. Good dig. And a good return. Number 17, Lauren Guess. Good job. Nine to eight. Lady Mustangs lead by one. Sydney Carter will be serving. In, oh, just over the net and an ace. <laughs> so it's nine to nine. Sydney Carter, she had that spin on it and it just climbed over the net, just over the net and dropped like a rock. Another low serve, that's good. Up. Out off a trace. 10 to nine. Ava Heath is serving now for Westfall. Good block by Laura, by uh, Addison Butts. Oh, just tipped it over where it wasn't. I think that was number 12. Kylie Yatesel. Kylie Yatesel uh, with the, and number 11 is uh, Lauren Ferens back to serve for Miami Trace. We're tied up 10 all. Here in the second set, Lady Panthers took the first set. Oh, nice return. That was number 22 with that return, Aubrey Clark. And number 14, going back to serve, Laura Blackburn. So now Westfall's up 11 to 10. Addison Butts back into the ground. <laughs> 11 all. Trace will be serving. Back to serve for Trace. Number 12, Kylie Yazel. This ball has been acting very erratically during this whole point. And of course, Addison Butt says enough of this. We're gonna put this baby away. It is 12 to 11. Dinked over. Number three, Cecilia Robinson with that. Dink, 13 to 11. Just a plink and over. Gazel serving again for the Panthers. Good serve. Oh, nice one for Westfall. 13 to 12, they're hanging in this second set. Not letting the Lady Panthers get too far ahead of them. Jalen Whipple back to serve for the Lady Mustangs. That's point. Westfall now tied up, 13 all. Point goes to Westfall. They lead by one, 14 to 13, here in the second set. Good serve. 
Good return. Tied up again, 14 all. Addison Butts back to serve. It isn't number 12. She puts it right there. Kylie Aitzel comes in and scores the point. Miami Trace up by one, 15 to 14. Butts back to serve again. Nice serve. Oh, good point, Westfall. Tied it up 15 all. Back to serve will be Aubrey Clark. Tied up 15 all in the second set. Lady Panthers took the first set. Save. That's out, off Trace. Sixteen to fifteen. Mustangs lead the Panthers. There's the serve. Point Westfall, 17-15. I think this is their biggest lead so far, two points. Good block. It's out. 18-15. Doug's calling for a timeout. He wants to talk it over with his Lady Panthers. In the second set, 18-15. to uh, Westfall Lady Mustangs lead the uh, Trace Lady Panthers. Lady Panthers won the first set. Mustangs trying to tie these Panthers up in the second set. Aubrey Clark will be serving again for the Lady Mustangs. There's the serve. Nope. Point trace. 18 to 16. Cecilia Robinson back to serve. She'll be in her normal corner. Go to your corner. <laughs> That's out. Trace point. 18 17. Robinson with a serve. And that'll be a point for Westfall. 19 to 17. Speaking number 19, Carrie Thornton will be back to serve for the Lady Mustangs. Go! 
Good block, number seven. That's Tara Wolf. She had the big block. Point, Westfall. They're up now 20 to 17. Three point lead here. Can't save it. It's 21 to 17. Girls have to regroup here. Another timeout by Doug Mace. He says, nope, we're not gonna let this get out of hand here. Let's get a nice crowd tonight. Carly Thornton back to serve for the Lady Mustangs. They're up 21 to 17. That's an ace. Carly Thornton saying, hey, let's do it again. Oh, nice return, number 14. Lauren Blackburn jacked that baby. It's 23 to 17. They can smell a second set win here. Put away again by number seven. Tara Wolf, good there at the net. This is set point, it's 24-17. Westfall looking to tie this baby up. But not so fast because Lauren Farron says no, no, no. 24-18. Back to serve for the Lady Panthers, number 14. Allison Carter. That's an ace. Carter with the ace, 24-19. Good return by the Lady Panthers. Blocked by a host of Lady Panthers. Number 17, that's uh, Lauren Guess. Number 11, Lauren Ferens. And now it's 24-20 and And that's out. And that set. So the final in this set, 25 to 20. The uh, Lady Mustangs over the Lady Panthers were tied up one set all. They set the score, 1-1. One, one. Got to go to the next set. So it's the third set. I believe the Lady Panthers have the serve to start.
Just a reminder, this Friday we're going to be at Hillsboro High School Stadium, and it's going to be the Miami Trace Panthers football team versus the Hillsboro uh, Indians, or yes, Indians path, uh, team. And uh, that'll be live from uh, Hillsboro High School Stadium at 6.30. So tune in at 6.30 for all the football action this Friday night with Joe Davis and whoever shows up, I guess. Here we've got one set all. Sending a shout out to the Mustang fans out there. Don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you can watch all kinds of great high school, college, semi-pro. Uh, we have Ohio State Buckeyes club football. Uh, right now they're currently 4-0. Uh, they've only had seven points scored against them in four games. Uh, they've won two national championships in the last four years that we've been covering them. Uh, we are the voice of the... Uh, Ohio State Buckeyes club football team. Well, it's going to be Westfall serving. And that's number eight, Ava Heath. Good dig. And it's Looks like that was number 22, Aubrey Clark, that got that point. We're, we've got one point all. Good serve, that's an ace. Two to one. Heath up again. And a good block. Three to one. Oh no, I guess it's not. It must have been a Laura Warren Butts got the uh, the point. And uh, Farron's into the net there. Or Sydney, yeah, Farron's into the net there. Laura Lauren uh, served and it went into the net, so now it's three to two. And they've got the score still three to one. Okay. Little tap by <laughs> Addison Butts. And it is now three to two. With Kylie Azel back serving. In the third set, each team with one win, one set. Good point. Number two, she reached over, didn't touch the net, and uh, Ellie Robinette, Robinette made that, uh, that point. It's three to three. Serving for Miami Trace, number 12, Kylie Azel. Good recovery. Oh, nice. That point is West Falls, four to three. 
And number four, Jalen Whipple. She'll be back to serve for Westfall. Here's a serve. Point Trace tied up for all. Addison Butts back to serve for uh, the Lady Panthers. Here we go. Well, back to Westfall, five to four. Aubrey Clark back to serve for the uh, Lady Mustangs. Good block by number 17. That was Lauren Guess. Hit it twice. So it'll be six to four. Point Westfall, seven to four. Breaking out with a slight lead here. Good block. Okay, I don't know what they are saying there. Number 17, they're saying number 17. That would be Lauren Guess. So they're giving the point to Westfall. I don't know whether Lauren Guess was under the net or exactly what, but it looked like that's what they were calling. Another point by Westfall. They lead nine to four. Doug won't let this go much longer. I'm sure he'll call a timeout. Riley Vincent coming in for the Panthers. And that point goes to the Panthers. So it's nine to five. You're watching CampusNation.com, the Internet Sports Authority with Rick Phillips here bringing you all the action live from Miami Trace High School. Oh, wrong way. Ten to five. Carly Thornton back to serve for Westfall. There it is. Into the net, 10 to 6. Allison Carter, she'll be serving. Going the wrong way, girls. Recovers, recovers. Nice one, number 11. Lauren Ferens puts that one away. It is 10 to seven. Trace trails by three. There's a serve. Oh. 
Oh, good little dink over by number 12. That's Kylie Azel. Number 14 goes back to serve. That is Allison Carter. So it is now 10 to 8. Trace trying to make the comeback here. Oh, Gary put away. 10 to nine. Trace on her little run of its own. Allison Carter with the serve. That was an interesting little trick they did there for Westfall. A dink a dink a do, I guess is what you'd call that. So they get the points, 11 to nine. Johnson back to serve for the uh, Lady Mustangs, Leah Johnson. Actually, it looks like Johnston. So we stand corrected. And that's a point for Westfall, 12 to nine. Alaya Johnson will be back to serve again. There's a serve, nice low serve, like those low serves, close to the net. Oh, hit twice. 13 to nine. Mustangs up. Four points. Johnston back to serve again. Nice put away. Point Mustangs, 14 to nine. So Johnston's on a run here. I think we're gonna need a timeout here. It's 15 to nine. Doug's standing up like he's ready, and there it is. Timeout, Miami Trace trailing by six points. Miami Trace won the first set. Westfall won the second set, and Westfall leads by six in the third set. Once again, you got to win at least three out of five, and we know that we're going to go at least four sets. Leah Johnston has been on a little run here of her own. She'll be serving as we resume play here. 15 to nine, her Westfall Lady Mustangs lead the Lady Panthers of Miami Trace High School. There's the serve. Sixteen to nine. Oh, seventeen to nine.
Johnson says, Johnson says, let me just serve out. <laughs> I'll just finish this right now. And an ace. <laughs> 18 to nine. Westfall doubled up on the Panthers. It's 19 to nine, 10 point lead by the Westfall Lady Mustangs. They aren't giving it back, they say. Out. Well, the Lady Panthers are sort of in a funk right now. They're trailing 20 to nine in this third set. And that's, oh, was recovered, that's great. Twenty-one to nine. Westfall has scored consecutive points in about the last seven points. Lady Mustangs are all over the place. Twenty-two to nine. Panthers can't figure Westfall out in this uh, third set, and that's in the net. So Johnston, Johnston, her reign has ended <laughs> uh, with a in the net serve. Back to serve for Miami Trace, number 23, Sydney Carter. See what we can do here, girls. That is an ace. 22 to 11. Got a little ways to climb back in this. Sydney Carter going to do everything she can to try to even things up. Out off the eighth. Twenty-three to eleven. Eighth back to serve number eight. Butts back in, and it still. Goes back over, but still, Miami Trace gets the point. 23 to 12, Butts hit it hard, and it bounced off of one of the Westfall girls that uh, went out of bounds. Lauren Ferens into the net. 24 to 12. Lauren Blackburn, she's going to be serving. This is set point. Trace looks tired. And that is set. So set number three goes to the Westfall Lady Mustangs. And they are now up two sets to one over Miami Trace with this win here.
go to the fourth set. Miami Trace will be serving first here in this fourth set. They trail now two sets to one. But the girls looked a little tuckered out there in that uh, third set. Uh, hopefully they'll catch their wind and uh, get back in this in the uh, fourth set. But Westfall, I must, you know, commend them. They were everywhere. They were swarming. They were all over the place. Everywhere the ball was, they were there to receive it and to send it back. And of course, both teams are getting ready to go into tournament play. Doug over there trying to rally the troops here. Not often that they are behind. Especially at home. West Falls 11 and 7 overall. Uh, 8 and 4 in their conference. And of course Miami Trace. They are 16 and three, just three losses, and 10 and 0 in the Frontier Athletic Conference. Sydney Carter would will be uh, serving for the Lady Panthers here in the in the beginning of the fourth set. And here we go. Westfall takes the first point in the fourth set. Lauren Blackburn serving for the Lady Mustangs. Butts into the net there. Two points now for Westfall, two to nothing. Point. Westfall three. Trace nothing. Oops. 
Westfall still recovers. Butts with the dink over. Three to one, Miami Trace. I want to remind you, we announced tonight that we are going to be doing all of Trace's home girls and boys basketball games this season. So tune into Campus Nation for all the action of basketball at Miami Trace High School. Tell you what, these Lady Mustangs, they are all over the court. They dive. They Another good one, Lauren Ferens. Wait a minute, what are we saying here? Yeah, three to two. Ferens is going to be back serving for the Lady Panthers. It's out. Three all. Four to three, Westfall over Miami Trace. A good block. Lauren Butts doesn't get blocked that often. Five to three. Nice low serve. No one there. Six to three. You know, the other thing that I've noticed about these Westfall girls, they, uh, they do a lot of, uh, well, not a lot of it, but they do a frequently fake and... Uh, it, it actually fakes the other team out. They're successful at it. Seven to three. Jalen Whipple has been serving. A good serve. Eight to three. Panthers just can't figure this out. Nine to three, second in a row ace where no one was there. Just dropped right where there was no one. Nice tip over by Addison Butts. Nine to four. Dropping back to uh, serve for Miami Trace. Number 12, Kylie Azel. On the line, 10 to 4. Aubrey Clark will be serving for the Lady Mustangs. Eleven to four. Girls look tired, and they look—I uh, don't know whether you'd say—kind of distracted or what. But uh, obviously, 
they can't figure out these Lady Mustangs. Good block. But still the point. Westfall, 12 to four. Doug Mace doesn't know what to do. <laughs> He's just sitting there bewildered. Obviously, uh, he doesn't see his ladies down this often like this. Thirteen to four. Just been one of those nights for the Lady Panthers, both the JV and and this varsity club, not doing well. Into the net. It's thirteen to five. Lauren or Addison Butts will be back to uh, to serve for the uh, Lady Panthers. Denise. 13 to six, it's right down the line. Just a reminder, this Friday night, we are going to be in Hillsboro, Ohio. The Miami Trace football team travels to Hillsboro and we will travel with them. Starts at 6.30 here on Campus Nation. And the stands, 14 to six. Good block, number 10. That was Reese Mayo. Blocked it back. To, it's now 15 to six. Carly Thornton serving for Westfall. Westfall with a point, 16 to six. 10 point lead by the Lady Mustangs over the Lady Panthers. Refs just checking to make sure that the point was awarded correctly. And the point was. Oh, into the net. 16 to seven. Lady Panthers gonna have to put it on here if they're gonna pull this out and at least tie it up. Back to serve will be Cecilia Robinson from her corner position she loves. Into the net. 17 to seven. Substitution here is Miss serve, number 28, Leah Johnston. She does those runs with her serve. And let's hope that she's not that lucky this time. Good day. Number 17 for Miami Trace, Lauren Guest did that. And uh, number 14 back to serve will be uh, Allison Carter. 17 to eight. Panthers trail. Good block. Trace gets the point, 17 to nine. They look like they had a little extra life in them that uh, point, and uh, Westfall looked a little tired. Allison Carter serving. Good, and it's out. 18 to nine. Westfall doubling up now on the Lady Panthers. Ava 
Heath back to serve for the Lady Mustangs. Nice low serve to the net. Great one by Ferens. 18 to 10. City Carter back to serve for the Panthers. Kept alive. Oh, into the net. 19 to 10. Westfall, number 14, Lauren Blackburn serving. Good point, number 12. Kylie Yatesel with that. And then back now, Lauren Ferens to uh, serve for Miami Trace. It's 19 to 11. Point, Trace, 19 to 12. Ferens back to serve again. Nice serve. Go the wrong way. It's a point for Miami Trace, 19 to 13. Trying to chip away at this uh, Westfall lead. Lauren's gonna serve again, serving down 19 to 13 in the fourth set. Nice low serve once again. But. 19-14, now we get a timeout by Westfall. They don't like the idea of Trace coming back, but these Lady Panthers are not saying die. You're listening to CampusNation.com, the Internet Sports Authority. On our football schedule this Saturday, time is wrong. It is 12.30, I believe. But anyway, Saturday, October the 14th, homecoming at Central State. The Marauders are hosting the Savannah State. Uh, the, uh, the game will be uh, on Campus Nation from McPherson Stadium in uh, Wilberforce, Ohio. This is the first of two games that we're going to do this year on Campus Nation at uh, Central State. Back to live action. Trace going to be serving Lauren Ferens, serving down 19 to 14. Let's see if she can keep this up. Good low serve, and it dies. 19 to 15. Maybe Ferens is our answer here to bring these Lady Panthers back. Get it tied up here and go into that fifth and final set. There's the serve. And that is out of the park. Oh, they saved it. Good block, Lauren Butt. Er, er. 
Madison Butts with the block. And now it is 19 to 16. These Lady Panthers, they've got a little bit of uh, new energy found. And especially with uh, Ferens doing the serving here. And she's been great. Good. Number three with the point. Cecilia Robinson bringing these girls back. It's 19 to 17. Westfall looks a little bit puzzled here. Another great serve by Ferens. And that's out. And that's a point. It's 19 to 18. Westfall looks like they might be panicking slightly. Lauren Ferens with this serve run that we've had here. Another good serve. Oh, good dig. Ferens comes in and scores the point. Incredible, she's doing it all. <laughs> she was almost on the floor to dig that out and get it back over. We are now tied 19 all. Lauren Ferens once again serving for Miami Trace. Oh, out. 20 to 19. All right, we'll see how long Westfall is going to be serving here. This is Jalen Whipple. Let me award that to Miami Trace. It's 20 all. Allison Butts, Addison, Addison Butts with the uh, perfect placement across the net. Miami Trace has not only come back, but they have now taken the lead. And Westfall calls a timeout. It's 21-20. Miami Trace smelling maybe a tie to tie this up in the fourth set. Lady Panthers have some new life. Doug's uh, trying to encourage them and bring them back. They now have the lead. This Westfall team has been great all night, but this last set, the fourth set, they had a commanding lead and they've let it slip away. So this may be playing some mind tricks on them. Lady Panthers come out and they look refreshed and they look excited and they look ready to rock. Number 12, that's Kylie Yatesel, she's going to be serving. Good serve. Out. No oh, point for Westfall. It's tied up 21 all. Dropping back to serve will be Aubrey Clark. 21-21 in this fourth set. Good low serve. Addison Butts 
with that return. Trace up 22-21. And as it has it, Addison Butts will be serving with a one point lead. Just points away from a victory here in the fourth set. Oh! Twenty-two, twenty-two. Back to Miami Trace, twenty-three, twenty-two. Cecilia Robinson, she also likes that corner position when she serves. Nice serve. Oh, great placement. Westfall knew the big blockers were up front and she just dinked it over them. It's 23 all. Got a game here, folks. One of their better servers, number 28, Leah Johnston. And that's a good kill by number 11. Lauren Ferns. Allison Carter serving for Trace. This is set point. Another little placement. We are at 24 all. <laughs> we had two or three girls that touched the ball. And the Panthers tried to kick the ball over. <laughs> I don't think that would have counted, do you? So a timeout. Timeout is, I think, Westfall. We are at 24 all. Remember, you've got to win by two. So we do normally go to 25, but uh, someone will have to have at least 26 in order to win this one. Back to serve for the Mustangs. Number eight, Ava Heath. <laughs> Ava Heath. Been a long one, folks. Not used to going this long with these Miami Trace girls, usually. Trace with the point, 25-24. This is set point. Dropping back, number 23, Sydney Carter. Can she put this away for Trace? And that's it, number 12 caps it. That was Kylie Yazel. And so the final in this fourth set, 26 to 24, we are going to five. And remember in the fifth set, you only get to 15. Yeah, still have to win by two, but it goes to 15. So now they're flipping a coin to determine who gets to serve to start this uh, fifth and final set. And by the way, it is the fifth and final set, no matter what. And you know what? The interesting thing about it is the last uh, girls volleyball that we did from Greenview was the same way. We went to five sets. Greenview was victorious by two in the fifth set. And uh, could this turn out to be deja vu again for the uh, Lady Panthers?
It's nail biting time, folks. Rick Phillips for CampusNation.com, the Internet Sports Authority. We have the Westfall Lady Mustangs, hosted by the Lady Panthers of Miami Trace. We are live from Miami Trace High School. We're going into a sudden death, fifth set. Got to win by two, but you're only going to 15 this time. Well, one thing's for certain, these Lady Mustangs have pushed these Lady Panthers to the brink. So, you know, this is the type of game that you don't want to see anyone lose because these girls have played their hearts out and they have swarmed, they have been everywhere on the court. They have dove for points, they have digged for points. We've seen a great, great volleyball match. Everybody at the edge of their seat, so to speak. <clears throat> so I guess Westfall must have won the coin flip. They get the ball. Dropping back number eight will be Ava Heath. She will be serving for the Lady Mustangs. There's a serve. Addison Butts trying to make that kill, but it was returned. Oh. Like I said, these girls are all over the court. Westfall with a 1-0 lead here. In the fifth and final set. Addison Butts, but it's out. Two to nothing. Unusual error for Addison Butts, but. Uh, still serving Ava, Ava Heath. Uh, great placement, number 12 comes through. That was Kylie Yatesel, and she is the setter, by the way, so. Two to one, dropping back to serve Ferens for Miami Trace. Can she have a little run of score like she did the last time? Westfall gets the point, they lead three to one. They are not letting Miami Trace get any kind of uh, momentum again. Lauren Blackburn serving. Oh, very low, just makes it across the net. Four to one. Westfall with some breathing room here. Another good low serve. Addison Butts with the kill. Four to two. Back to serve, Kylie Yates. Point for Westfall, five to two. Jalen Whipple serving. <laughs> Addison Butts. Just with a little tap over and a score. Five to three, and Addison Butts will be serving.
Nice serve. Good, good play. Point Westfall. These girls have been phenomenal on both sides. Aubrey Clark will be serving up six to three in the final set. Comes over immediately. Good block. Good block. But Westfall ends up with the point. They're up now seven to three. Remember, we're only going to 15. You got to win by two in this fifth set. And you get to 15. Still made it over. Good block. I think West, Westfall did make that point. Eight to three. Timeout Westfall, they're gonna talk this over. This Friday night from Hillsboro, Ohio, we've got Miami Trace. The Panthers go to Hillsboro to face the Indians. That'll start at 6.30 on Campus Nation with our pregame. October the 13th, that's Friday the 13th, so hopefully it's gonna be good luck for Miami Trace. <laughs> Aubrey Clark. Serving for uh, Westfall. Good dink. Number 17 puts it away. Lauren Guess. Cecilia Robinson. Dink. Eight to four. Slow getting up off the floor here. These girls are all over the place. It's incredible. The athleticism of these young ladies is just phenomenal. Miami Trey serving. They did it again, nine to four. They've done the same thing to fake the uh, Lady Panthers out three or four different times where it looked like they were ready to clock it over the net and she dinks it over the blocks. Another. It's good. Nine to six, Miami Trace will be serving. Allison Carter for Miami Trace serving down nine to six. We're in the fifth and final set. On to 25.
Nine to seven. Allison Carter continuing to serve, down by two. Want to get this thing close? In, oh, it's just over the net! Nine to eight. It literally, once again, climbed over the net and dropped like a rock. Like it was a seeing eye dog. It's nine to eight. Westfall leads by one slim point. Allison Carter trying to tie this up right here. Another low, good serve. A great kill by Ferens. Ties it up, nine to nine. Lauren Ferens with that kill. Carter serving again. That's in. 10 to nine. That, she placed it just where they worked. Simple as that, in a corner. There was that little trick play that Westfall tried to do this time that didn't work. Oh, blocked off Trace. 10 all. It is 10 to 10 here in the fifth and final set. We're only going to 15 unless we can't win by two by going to 15. Number 28, Leah Johnston will be serving. Ferens. Oh, good block back. These girls were scrambling on both sides. Ferens. That's a dink a dink a do. Into the net. 11 to 10, Miami Trace. Sydney Carter dropping back to serve. What do we got here? All right. Miami Trace with the slimmest of leads here in the fifth set. They lead by one. <clears throat> Tied up again, 11 all. Westfall will be serving number eight. Eva Haith. Ava serving with a tie score, 11 all. Oh, miss hit. Last ball up now, 12 to 11. Doug Mace calls timeout. Timeout Panthers. They're down by one here in the fifth and final set. You're, you're watching this on CampusNation.com, the Internet Sports Authority, live from the campus of Miami Trace High School. Miami Trace Gym. Rick Phillips here bringing you all the great, and this has been incredible volleyball action. None of these girls have given up at all. They have just fought to the very end. They have slid across floors. They have dug and dug these balls off the tops of the, of the wood here. There's the serve. Oh, 
Good dink by <laughs> Addison Butts with the dink. It's 12 all. Little tip over the. Lauren Farron's going to be serving. What you do? Stand on the line. That was a footfall. So it's 13 to 12, Westfall. Lauren Blackburn serving. Dug out really. Oh, it's still over. Addison Butts brings them back to tie, 13 all. Kylie Hazel will be serving for the Lady Panthers. Another good one by Addison Butts. 14-13. Now we go to 15. So this could be set match point. This could be set at match point. And that's tied 14 all. Well, set point slips between their fingers. Number four up the serve, Jalen Whipple. These girls will not. Let this game die. We may be here all night, folks. Point Westfall. This now becomes set match point. 15 to 14. They've reached that magic number. And that's it. 16 to 14 in the fifth and final set. Three sets to two. Westfall takes the, uh, the match from Miami Trace. Miami Trace goes down to only their uh, fourth defeat. Great, great game. So, I want to remind you of the things that we've got this weekend before we sign off. We are going to be uh, at Hillsboro. Uh, and we will, uh, we will make sure that uh, you see us from Hillsboro at 6.30 on Friday evening. So, this is Rick Phillips for CampusNation.com, the Internet Sports Authority. Good night, everybody. <laughs>